Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 25th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and what an active period it's been. It's going to remain fairly wet for us, too. There's a look at the uh, Storm Prediction Center storm reports. Uh, this was through 530 uh, this morning. And unfortunately, uh, there have been uh, two reports of fatalities in Arkansas and Kentucky, as well as injuries in Tennessee. The uh, WPC guys put together a nice map that shows uh, the heavy rains that have occurred. So in addition to the severe weather, uh, we've had a good deal of flash flooding over the area. The uh, rain moved into the northwest corner of the state late last night and has moved slowly, or I should say steadily, across the, uh, the state. Uh, as you can see, the line stretching from just to the, the uh, east of Jacksonville all the way down to south of Demopolis. The clouds uh, correspond pretty close to that uh, as we see a good deal of cloudiness over much of the southeastern United States. The front becoming parallel to the flow aloft, so it's not going to be moving a whole lot. There's our uh, surface weather pattern and uh, the front likely to stay uh, pretty close to that location for the next couple of days or at least into Monday. Uh, the next trough should be coming out uh, Monday and that should clear things out uh, as far as the rain goes on Monday. Uh, Monday uh, afternoon. There's a look at the uh, 500 millibar flow uh, today, this morning, and uh, you can see the the trough that's coming out uh, across uh, western Iowa and eastern uh, Nebraska, and then there's another one right behind it back there uh, in Idaho and uh, Nevada that is going to be uh, coming uh, out, and that's going to be the one that's going to uh, kind of take things away from us, kind of sweep it out. Temperatures uh, this morning depend on which side of the front you are. The front uh, located uh, in the vicinity of the Birmingham and Shelby County areas, but you notice that it's in the mid and upper 50s right behind the front, and it's in the uh, upper 60s, lower 70s, uh, just ahead of the front. And there's a look at a little broader look uh, of the radar composite over the southeastern U.S. Flash flood warnings, those bright green areas uh, cover a large part of the uh, uh, the uh, middle Mississippi River Valley up into the Ohio River Valley. We have uh, some flash flood watches, the darker green value, uh, values you see there up into uh, Pennsylvania. The purples and pinks over the uh, New England and up in north central and northwestern United States, those are winter weather advisories. And the gray you see down in the area of Tallahassee is dense fog. QPF-wise, uh, we're looking at uh, between the two events, the one that's occurring now through Monday afternoon, and then the one that's likely to be late Wednesday into Thursday is looking like uh, widespread two to three inch amounts across the area. There's a little bit closer look, and you can see the northern two-thirds of the state could have a, uh, around a two inch uh, amounts, so very widespread, with uh, three to three and a half possible across the Tennessee River Valley. The WPC guys have a slight risk for heavy rains along the Gulf Coast, uh, Louisiana, southern Mississippi, very extreme southwestern Alabama for day one. And then for day three, they have uh, heavy rains as possibility over northwestern Alabama, northern uh, Mississippi, and southeastern Arkansas. The Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk for severe storms along the uh, Gulf Coast of Louisiana, um, Mississippi and Alabama for day one. We see just thunderstorms on day two. For day three, we uh, have a marginal risk over southeast, uh, well, eastern Texas or northeastern Texas. And then for day four, we actually see uh, a risk area over southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and northeast Texas. All right, let's get to the models uh, this morning. And there's uh, kind of our ridge that's kind of holding things as, uh, as we say the front is becoming parallel to the upper flow. So it's just simply not going to go anywhere. Uh, we may see a little bit of a low late morning into the early afternoon in the precip, but I expect additional precip to develop. There's an intermediate time. That's uh, midnight tonight. And uh, you can see uh, the, the rain uh, developing as that other trough comes our way. There comes the trough coming out uh, across... Uh, the 
Ohio River Valley uh, Monday afternoon, and that should once again sweep things out of the area as high pressure moves in and gives us a couple of rain-free uh, days. It does look like this: uh, the uh, shear values and the cape values are going to be fairly minimum uh, on this next one, so I'm not expecting any severe weather at the moment. Tuesday, the ridge is really firmly in place, but uh, with that deep trough over Southern California and Baja California, the trough stays with us through Wednesday as that nice uh, closed low uh, opens up into a short wave and uh, heads out across uh, New Mexico. And uh, that will bring the front back to our uh, to the north. It'll be lying down along the Gulf Coast or right in the, the, the uh, Gulf of Mexico. It'll bring it back to the north, so look for rain again Wednesday. And uh, taking an intermediate time, uh, Wednesday night at midnight, uh, we've got a nice uh, surface low over Missouri, and then uh, we've got that possibility of severe weather in the Arkansas and northern Louisiana area into northwestern uh, Mississippi. Uh, and that indeed, uh, the Cape values, uh, the uh, instability are uh, reasonably good for that area, as well as some uh, shear. Uh, in that area, so it does look like a pretty good bet that we may see some additional severe weather. That trough moves by on Thursday, so once again, that's going to help to sweep things through. I think Thursday will stay wet for uh, the first half of the day and probably be seeing the rain uh, ending from the northwest and west uh, during the afternoon hours. The nice thing is it looks like next weekend's going to be beautiful. We see a, a nice uh, ridge developing uh, over the central U.S. on Friday. That ridge is there and slides a little bit to the east over the Mississippi River Valley on Saturday. And then uh, we see that that ridge still with us on Sunday. So it looks like next weekend uh, as we head into the 1st of March will be very nice and dry and not too bad on temperatures. It doesn't look like there's any real extremes. We'll be uh, above seasonal averages, I think. Looking out into voodoo country, and uh, they, there is a change coming. We saw this yesterday, and it's still there. Uh, around the 6th of March, we develop a nice, uh, fairly deep trough over the eastern part of the country, and that will uh, change our flow to northwesterly, so that should bring some cooler uh, weather. Um, primarily probably highs in the 50s and lows in, in the uh, upper 30s to lower 40s. Now, the pattern does uh, kind of morph a little bit around the 9th of March as we see a couple of uh, fairly strong traveling systems moving through uh, the overall flow pattern. So uh, that puts a little change in the um, primary uh, pattern of a trough, but the GFS holds on to that trough and brings it back around the 11th of March, uh, once again suggesting that it's going to be uh, fairly cool as we get into the period from uh, the March 6th through March uh, 11th or 12th. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back in the saddle with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, always stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. Have a great day, stay dry, and Godspeed. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.